Hello, my name is Chris Waldanski. Uh, I'm attending in the Department of Anesthesia and Critical Care. I would like to tell you today about my lab. Um, and but before we go there, I want to tell you what is the mission of my lab. I believe that everybody's ingenuity should be utilized to flourish their talents. And that's what my lab is. The people come to my lab with all different ideas, all different skills, and all, all different concepts. And as much as I can, I try to find a space for them to flourish and nourish those ideas. This way, you have a synergism. You develop as a human being and, uh, and I am very happy now. So let me tell you what the playground is. So what, my, what does my lab do? I'm a critical care physician. What I'm very, very interested in is how my patients recover after critical care illness. So people get flu, surgery, multi to other diseases. They have a very, very tough time in the unit. And then they have to recover. Okay. Well, it turns out that the recovery is a very complicated process. And some people recover well, some people recover poorly. I'm sure in the COVID era, you've heard about the long haulers. Those are examples of the people who did not recover well. So that's what I studied. And what I studied very specifically is how the immune system determined. It turns out that small changes of the immune system performance at the beginning of the critical care illness seems to have a profound impact on the, uh, for the months and, and years to come. I'm curious about the immune system, so that's what I study. And one thing, one small study I want to tell you about it, just to give you a sense, is the study when we took the patient who had a heart surgery. And those patients have an elevation of one of the genes called the PU1, and this gene is elevated for months to come. We don't really know why. And this gene was not elevated before. So what I study is why, what are the mechanisms what makes this gene elevated? Okay, so then we go with a bit of higher level. If this gene is elevated, what does this gene do? And what we know, it affects the critical components of the immune system called the monocytes. Well, so what you would say? Immune monocytes are affected. Well, the immune monocytes are very, very critical part of the uh, of your immune system. And if they change for months to come, a lot of your health will not recover successfully. So that's my very, very basic research, but very clinical oriented research. What I also do, I try to understand how to take that discovery, that, that research, and how we apply the clinical practice. So I study, one, how you transform your research into the innovation and then into actionable clinical decision making. And it seems like a far away you know, we're talking about the P1 genes, and now we're talking about, you know, the bedside physician, but road, that road is much uh, closer than you think and much shorter, but you have to think this way. Important part of uh, thinking about my lab is that when you do those transformations, you have to ask yourself, how do people make a decision? How do doctors make a decision? That's what I study as well, together with the Wharton and with the LDI. And that's an important piece because if I can understand how the physician make a decision, I can take that discovery and coin into the tool that they can use. It. The final, play, uh, fi final part of the research is how you implement this. So now you have your research and your research is actionable. How you make this workable, right? So all of this can be done in my lab. I like when the people come to me with the basic research and then we sort of look forward how the things can go uh, into the innovation and progression, but that's a long process. But that's what I do and uh, my lab is very, very diverse. That is why when students come to my lab, I always ask them, what would you like to do? What are you passionate about? How can we find that synergies that your passion and my interests overlap and then we produce the new value? So this is what my lab is about. If you want to uh, learn more about the research part, the innovation part, or the implementation part, please go to the PubMed. I can be also find on the LinkedIn, Twitter, and a couple other channels, or look at the website of my lab. It's kflab.org uh, or .com. And then you have all the projects. And then just come back and tell me how, you, how can I help you. Thank you very much for listening to this uh, presentation. I hope to see some of you soon.